Okay, here's one for you guys. This emergency. Oh, this is a, uh, of course, i7 Dell with the JBL, man. It's huge. <laughs> Thing's huge. <laughs> this is duels as a weapon, man. Oh, this is the studio. <laughs> Dell studio model. It's got that on button over there in the corner. Yeah, right there. I actually plugged the charger in first in that socket in that by accident and turned it on. And then, uh... Dell Studio. It says, doesn't really, it's hard to, there's no model number on the front. This is Dell Studio. And so here's what happens. Uh, we turn it on. Seems to fire up. Two beeps. Two beeps. Two beeps. And I think the two beeps is RAM. If I'm not mistaken. And it's got one of these, oh, I hate these things. This is the invisible CD slot where it's like inside. So it beeps, okay, two beeps. Well, let's shut it down and pull the battery out and restart it and see what happens. Okay, let's turn the power off. I just wondering, somebody told me, you have to turn the power off before you unplug it because it might give it a surge when you plug it back in. Okay, so I, I accidentally pushed the on button again right near that power socket tricky to pull that uh, okay we got no video on it either so it's completely black and it's got a good battery I just charged the battery up all night and so what we're gonna try is what we call the hard restart man this thing is like five pounds of massive computer laptop and so let's see we can get some light on the subject here oh. Yeah, that's a huge battery. Okay. And it's got a Windows 7 Pro sticker. Windows 7 Pro. And so this is basically the hard start action here that we do. And we press and hold the on button. Well, I don't know, for about a minute or so. Everything I see on the internet says hold for a minute. Hold that on button for a minute. And sometimes I don't always hold it for a minute, but let's just give it a minute. Or so. And now if I can find that charger. Again, there's a charger. And plug in the right hole again, that's what she said. Oh. And then turn the power back on and we got we have no char no no light there I thought I saw that light blink I did see that light blink it may be the wrong charger because when I got this it didn't have a charger with it and then let's watch it watch the light show here again so give it a on one beep one two so I got two beeps it probably doesn't have any RAM it's probably what the deal is I'm gonna take a wild guess. I just shut the power off again. Goodbye. And, and through the magic of editing, well, I could have a big clock up on the wall and tell you how long it took, but no. We're just doing a simple video here. I always edit because I like to put music and background and stuff. Anyway, this studio, you can see there's no RAM. The two beeps corresponds with the no RAM. Now, you may have RAM, but your RAM may be loose or defective. <clears throat> Apparently, through the videos I've watched you can check on your RAM to see if you have power to your RAM but I'm not sure if that actually means anything or not you could have power to your RAM power on your RAM chip and it's still not be any good possibly <clears throat> anyway this one's kind of nice it's got two hard drives I'm not sure exactly why you want to put two hard drives in but uh, uh, more uh, two different operating systems it does have one caddy which is kind of nice because you kind of need a caddy <clears throat> unless you're going to be a macgyver and sons but yeah that's the problem with this i need to find some ram and this is such a nice computer i might put a solid state drive on it i'm getting spoiled with solid state drives just because they run so much faster although if you're putting a cheap computer together you just want to see if it runs you might want to buy a cheap um uh 
old style drive. And then these have the screws that come out so they don't stay in, so you gotta be careful. Uh, so you save the screws. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've helped me with your videos, thanks for putting up your video. So we can all learn together.